Greetings Earthlings, welcome back to my channel. My name is Raquel, just in case you are new here, and this is Rack Rex Art. And today, I am going to attempt something different, crazy. Some might say impossible. I am going to attempt to do an entire project today in one day, start to finish. Uh, probably a recipe for disaster, but something I've seen a lot of YouTubers attempt and I feel like it'll be very satisfying if I can pull it off. So just like the nature of making these videos, a lot of times it takes me a week, sometimes two, the projects I wanna do. So I just wanted to do something that I can get done in one day. And I also wanted to just like kind of make something, I don't know, I, I wanna say self-indulgent. I don't know if it truly is. I have like a weird obsession with Funko Pops, even though I like do not even own one. Like I find myself when I just need something like positive and cute to look at on the internet. Uh, I just go to like the Funko Pop website or like Funko Pop Instagram posts and I just like endlessly scroll and get a little like endorphin boost or something like serotonin just like goes wild in my brain looking at these cute, stupid little things. So, I decided that I should just make myself one. I think I can make one. And I know there's do-it-yourself kits out there, uh, and that would make a lot of sense as a place to start for making your own Funko Pop. But instead of that, let's start at ground zero. Let's make this one day make challenge as difficult as possible by creating the Funko Pop out of nothing. And by nothing, I mean out of clay, out of out of polymer clay. I'm sure you're wondering, well, what what is the Funko Pop gonna be? What's your design? What's your concept? And I wanted to do a Funko Pop design, inspired design that was something that didn't exist or doesn't exist yet. Um, so I thought it would be the perfect excuse for me to kind of conjure up some love for another childhood favorite, Totoro, my neighbor Totoro. So I took some time and I drafted up a couple concepts of what a Totoro uh, Funko Pop could look like. And <laughs> I had a lot of fun just like doodling this. Uh, I have a version without an umbrella and with an umbrella. So kind of depends if I can find a little umbrella, you know, like from a little drink. But anyway, I think the design is really cute and there is so much to do today. So I'm going to jump right in. I'm gonna start by making an armature out of foil and wire. And I'm gonna try to take my time with this even though I feel like I'm like rush mode, rush mode. Let's go, go, go. Cause I think the better my armature, one, the less clay I'll waste, and two, the like easier the sculpting process will be. So I'm gonna try to remind myself as I get started here so I don't jump ahead. All right, wish me luck. Oh, before we go, time check, it is 9.04. I'm already kind of behind the schedule I put in my head, but it's okay, still plenty of day left. Let's go. So I think the armature is looking pretty good. I'm happy with the proportions, but before I can move forward and decide if he's gonna be the version I drew with his arms down or the version with the little umbrella, I have to figure out if I can uh, source the umbrellas. Do you all sell those little tiny like drink umbrellas? Okay, 
Thank you. <laughs> yeah, have you have, have you seen them anywhere around town by chance? Cool. I feel like they're just gonna hang up on me. They didn't answer. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let's try one more thing. <laughs> um, it's like party supplies. These like little tiny drink umbrellas. <laughs> um, yeah, we do. We have plenty of them. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. All right, let's go get them. I'm super stoked that I found the umbrellas <laughs> and they're adorable and pretty much just the right size. So now that I have this and I can commit to the arm shape that I want, I'm gonna grab my clay rolling machine, which is really probably like the best tool in my arsenal. I freaking love that thing and use it so much. It's a huge time saver. And roll out some clay and get some layers of clay over this to start the base of actually sculpting it. Yeah, okay, let's do that. And you're probably wondering what time it is. It is 12.48, so it's not terribly late, but we certainly are not moving fast. Yeah. All right, let's go. Hello, it's me again. Uh, probably doesn't feel like that much time has passed for you, but for me, a lot of time has passed. Time check, currently it is 3.42, so I spent an ungodly amount of time just smoothing this little baby out. And this is where we are so far. Kinda looks like a little piglet right now, and he's still not incredibly smooth. Uh, he's a little lumpy, but if I'm going to finish this in one day, I kind of just need to roll with it. And I think it's going to start to look really good when I put the details on. But if you were going to do this at home and you wanted him to be perfectly smooth, I would recommend baking it at this point and then sanding it to sand off all of the kind of lumpiness, then adding your details on from there. But we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna finish this today. That is the goal. And Totoro is gonna be super cute. Just wait and see. I know maybe you don't believe it right now, but I still believe it. Okay, let's add some details and see how it turns out. Look who dragged themselves out of the oven and they're just looking absolutely adorable. Check this out. Just delightful. Absolutely delightful. I am kind of losing my mind though. I will say that my like, my life force is pretty low um, working on all of this in one day. I think this would have been a wonderful 
two day project, like very doable. And of course you're wondering what time is it Raquel? It is 6.42 and uh, a big goal I have now that this is sculpted and fresh out of the oven is I would love to get the spray primer on it before the sun sets, but I am waiting for him to cool off so he's not like gonna react to the primer weird. Um, and I'm going to prime it and then spray paint it, kind of like a base coat that I want to have most of the Totoro be. And uh, then the rest I'm going to paint. I did kind of take one little shortcut here, the whiskers. The whiskers I did end up doing like earring backs that I cut up uh, just cause I didn't know how to sculpt such thin little whiskers. I wanted them to be a little bit more round, but overall I'm happy with it. I'm not sure if it really looks like a Funko Pop, so you guys will have to let me know. Maybe it will look more so Funko fun cuteness when it's painted up. Uh, but if you like Funko Pop things and you maybe wanna see me actually buy one of those do-it-yourself like Funko bases, let me know. I would love to try that again and maybe even do it in just one day. Wouldn't that be fun? Okay, so we're gonna paint this little guy and we're gonna keep our spirits up, right? Right, Raquel. There's no crying and crafting. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. Yeah, you're fine, you let's do it. it. They would never understand. Authentic, not tiredness, hooray, yay. <laughs> Are you all familiar with the story of Icarus? A brave, foolish boy who flew too close to the sun and his adventurous side got the best of him. A tale very much like the tale of Rackbrack's art and her one day make. I'm okay though, uh, but things did go really wrong. Hold on here. Uh, yeah, so I was feeling very confident and like I was about to finish this in time to relax watch some TV, just like yuck it up in victory. But something went wrong. I don't know if it was the humidity or like old spray paint or just like the wrong type of spray paint for polymer clay, but uh, Totoro bubbled all up and looked horrible. And uh, I spent forever in a day just trying to remove it all. So I removed it with like a gentle non-acetone nail polish remover, but so many little details, all the little details. I'm saying details with a D, that's how tired I am. Uh, but he's pretty much good as new, I think. Only time will tell. Uh, yeah, so pretty disappointing there, but hey, lesson learned. And you know, technically I still did make it in one day, uh, but I am going to have to call it. It's about 9.30 right now, and uh, I've been working on this Totoro for a 12 and a half hour straight, which is a bit too much. So I am going to call it for the night, and I will see you tomorrow. And tomorrow, things are gonna go our way. I can just tell. Yeah. <laughs> Look who's back, Raquel and Totoro, and today is our day. We're going to paint up Totoro. I don't think it's gonna take me that long. I'm motivated and I've got a plan and he's really not that many colors. So I think at this point, what else could go wrong, right? Careful. Uh, we'll be using, let me show you. Heavy body acrylics. I already own some of these, but in doing my research, that is apparently the best type of acrylic to use on polymer clay. At this point, I'm just like not willing to have any more mistakes happen to my sweet, sweet Totoro. So in theory, nothing can go wrong. 
in theory. All right, let's go ahead and jump right in, finish this one day make. Y'all, I am done with the Totoro and I am so pleased with how he came out. He is so very cute and I feel like it was 100% worth the struggle in the long run. So uh, yeah, hopefully you will enjoy it as much as I enjoy it. Uh, I'll show you the finished product here in a second, but before I do, I just wanted to give a big thank you to my patrons for supporting me and cheering me on and making me feel like a superstar. Y'all rock. You all are the true superstars. These people right here. I also just wanna say thank you to everyone who's watching this video. It really means a lot to me to get your comments and your kind words, and it motivates me to make more videos and make more art, and in turn, hopefully, that motivates more people, and it's a big circular art motivation thing we got going on, right? Please let me know if you like this video, if you like the idea of one day makes, if you, think that it did end up looking like a Funko Pop? Let me know. I think it's it's got some Funko Pop elements to it that really shine through. <laughs> anyway, take a look at the finished product. here again thank you for watching and i hope to see you in my next video and i hope you like and i hope you subscribe and maybe you can go and watch another video or something all right we'll see you next time i have no idea if this is the correct frame rate oh no i don't know i think it is this guy is so cute he's very cute even though he's just a little foil man I'm actually so thrilled and really excited about finding tiny umbrellas. Oh goodness. I wish you could like see my ponytail at all times. Ah! Yes! 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 High-fiving myself because I'm proud. Is that something other people do? Hopefully. 